Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's another three looks, one palette video. This time, as you are all already know, because <laughs> I don't know why I try to like leave everyone in suspense when it's literally in the title, but today I used the Odin's Eye in collaboration with the Fancy Face Hummingbird Palette in all its beautiful, colorful, bright glory. Absolutely loved it. I will, I have my brief thoughts at the end of the video, but I'm just going to tell you right now, this is a really beautiful palette. I had so much fun using it. I tried to do like as neutral a look as I could get and then, you know, play to all the different like tones. I did a pinky look, <laughs> surprise, surprise, as my second one. And then I did a obviously blue and green look today. I have literally nothing else to say, so let's just start the video. Hello lovely people, welcome to the first video in this 3 Looks 1 palette using the Hummingbird palette from Odin's Eye in collaboration with Tina from the Fancy Face. What I want to do today is do something not neutral because realistically you're not going to get a look that's super neutral from this palette, but maybe something that plays more to the more toned down neutral side just to see just to see what this palette can do <laughs> I'm probably going to start with this shade every time but I'm now going to start with the shade clear blue which is this light blue and I'm just going to run this through my crease as a transition shade and see how it goes Definitely very light, obviously. Okay, so that built up really beautifully, especially for a really light blue. Um, now I'm going to take the shade Red Hills right here, which is a really beautiful red shade. I'm just going to build this up in my crease. I'm probably going to do a half cut crease, I think, today. Shocking, I know. So did I cover up all that blue shade? Maybe, but we'll, we'll come back to that. I'm going to deepen my crease using this beautiful purple shade called Star Apple. And I'm going to, yeah, put this in my crease and my outer corner. So I'm just going to cut my crease and then I'll be back. Okay, so my crease is cut and now I'm going to take the shade Red Hills, run this just through the front of my crease, tap this onto my lid, and then take Star Apple and do the same thing. And then also deepen my outer corner a little bit more. So now I'm going to take this beautiful shade called Swallowtail, which is an orange, a beautiful sparkly orange. I'm going to give that a spray and I'm going to put this, well, first I'm going to tap out these creases 
And then I'm gonna put this in the middle of my lid. For the inner part of my lid, I'm going to go into the shade Beach Sands, another beautiful textured shade. I'm just going to wipe that brush off and go in, uh, on the other side of it, also spraying that and then putting that, like I said, on the inner part. And then I'm going to take both shades, like both shades on either side of my brush, you know what I mean, and then just blend these two together. And then I'm going to take uh, Red Hills just a little bit and just blend this onto my lid. And then take Clear Blue and just blend over the edges just to help everything blend out. Although I guess this shade didn't really do that much for this look in particular, but that's all right. And then I'm going to take Swallowtail and Beach Sands on my fingers and use this to intensify my lid shades. Look at that texture and sparkle. Oh my god, you guys. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take Red Hills and run this all along my lower lash line and blend it out. And then I'm going to take Star Apple and deepen everything up, just doing the same thing that I did in my, on my lid. And then I'm going to take Clear Blue and just use this to blend the edges. And then finally, I'm going to take the shade Hummingbird which is this really beautiful dark like purple shade with a bit of blue to it just on my pinky and I'm going to put it right on the inner part of my lower lash line. Bringing it pretty far down just so it like still shows because my eyes kind of like scrunch up so otherwise you wouldn't really be able to see it. Uh, for my inner corner and my brow bone there's nothing really in this palette that is gonna work super great for me so I'm just gonna use my face highlight this is which little so I'm just gonna use my face highlight today I'm using the Juvia's Place the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3 okay friends this is the finished look obviously I love it okay it is beautiful I just by the way my girlfriend came in and I was talking to her so I just finished my eyes up I the last thing I did is I just took a black and put that in my outer corner. I used the shade Annihilation from the Giant Wolves palette in collaboration with Annette's Makeup Corner, which a video on that will be coming when I'm done this one. On my lips, I used the ColourPop Eyeliner in the shade Mr. Bang as lip liner. I blended it out with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm. And then on my, like, my lipstick is the Propa Beauty lipstick in the shade Made It, which is this beautiful orange shade, and I love the way it pairs with this eye. All in all, oh, and my lashes are just random lashes from Amazon. All in all, and... <laughs> And I put a plum um, eyeliner. My waterline is one from ColourPop that you can't get anymore. Love it. Okay. Holy shit. This look. Love it. I feel like this is, well, it, it still definitely has lots of color, especially with this pop of purple in the lower lash line, which I love. Um, I feel like this is probably the most neutral that you're going to get. Maybe if you just did, like, the shade Red Hills. Mm -hmm. the shade Red Hills and Beach Sands like paired together that would be even more neutral but 
this is not the neutral palette of the collection and I absolutely just I love purples and oranges together I think it's so so nice and I'm I'm into it I'm into this combination a lot that is all that I have to say so let's get into the second look okay everyone hello welcome to the second look using the um Odin's Eye X <laughs> the Odin's Eye X the Fancy Face Hummingbird Palette. Now, I always get so defensive about this and no one comments on my videos about it, but I'm going to use the shade Fancy today on my lid, which is like a multi-chrome, and I really just want to give it the, sh the lid space that it deserves to shine, so I'm going to do another half-cut crease. Okay? Don't at me. So I'm going to... Oops start off again with the shade clear blue as a transition shade and like in the first look I'm just gonna run this all through my crease and now I'm going to take the shade hibiscus which is this beautiful bright like corally pink and I'm going to run this through my outer corner and my crease this is such a beautiful shade. Okay, so that's built up. Look at that beautiful color. By the way, completely random. If you're not, okay, this doesn't show you anything. If you're not watching Khadija Mo, watch them. Go subscribe to them immediately. They are literally one of my favorite YouTubers ever. So good. Okay, anyway, now I'm going to take the shade Star Apple. That beautiful beautiful purple and use this to deepen up my crease which I guess I will also skip through because you already saw me do this before I'll probably use it in the next look as well okay so I'm just going to cut my crease and then I will be back okay so my crease is some um, my creases are cut Anyway, <laughs> before I do anything else, I'm going to go in with hibiscus and just run this over the edge. And then I'm just going to tap this onto my lid as well. And then I'm going to go over the edges of my crease with star apple and deepen my crease as well. And now I'm going to take the shade Fancy. I'm so excited for this. It looks so beautiful. I'm going to spray that as usual and put this all over my lid. Look at this color, oh my god. It is so beautiful, so beautiful. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of hibiscus just to blend everything together. I love how this shade Fancy blends into hibiscus, it's so pretty. So beautiful. 
Let's see, now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of clear blue and just buff this over the edges. Just so, you know, everything's super blended. So sad that I'm totally ruining this bird imprint in the shadow. I actually feel like that ties like the blue shift of fancy in really nicely, that purpliness kind of brings it out. And then I'm going to take fancy on my finger. Oh my god, ugh, it's so beautiful. Let me, I never, okay. Let me focus this. It just never translates. There's pink, there's purple. There's almost like green and blue. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to intensify this on my lid. For my lower lash line, I've been really into using like shimmers on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take the shade Hummingbird. I used this in a, just a little bit in my first look. And I'm, so I'm gonna take this on the brush that I normally use to do my lower lash line, which is just this double-sided um, Anastasia brush. But I normally don't spray these shimmers. I'm going to with this, or I normally don't spray shimmers when I use them on my lower lash line. This is pretty like flaky, which is not bad, but I just don't want like a ton of fallout. So just to press this along my lower lash line, I'm just gonna spray it just so that I have less like shimmer fallout on my face. Okay, so I did, I built that up. I use my finger a lot. Mm. <laughs> It's so pretty, but I don't know that it's like, I think I would prefer this on my lid just because it has so much beautiful sparkle in it and yeah, like I don't know if you can, if I pull my eye down, it's just like so sparkly and beautiful and I don't think, I think the effect would be better just all over the lid, but this is what we've done. Now I'm just going to take Star Apple and just deepen everything up. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my finger again and tap some more Hummingbird over the Star Apple shade just so that beautiful sparkle shines through a little bit more. I'm just going to leave it there. I feel like all this sparkle just kind of blends itself out anyway. For my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to take my face highlighter. Today I used the ColourPop and Disney Villains Super Shock Highlighter in the shade You Idiots, You Fools, You Imbeciles. It's the Cruella one. You can't, I don't think you could even get this anymore, but yeah. And then finally, I'm just going to take a black. I'm using the shade Annihilation from the Annette, uh, collab with Annette's Makeup Corner, the Giant Wolves palette. And I'm just going to take this and yeah, deepen just my outer corners and then the outer part of my lower lash line. Okay, so my sh so I really like the way that this is looking. This is basically all I'm going to do. And I'm just going to put some lashes on, do my lips, and then this look will be complete. Okay, so this is the finished look. On my lips, I used my little niblet of a ColourPop um, lippy pencil in BFF, and I used the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fairy Floss. I'm trying to use things that I've forgotten about, and let's see. And my lashes are just random Amazon lashes, and I just put a black in my waterline. Um, <coughs> I really love this look mostly because this shade Fancy is so beautiful. It's so pretty. It truly is. Like, Tina was trying to be modest, I think, in her video, but it truly is. Like, a multi-chrome. It has so many shifts to it. Every time I look at it in a different light, it just is so stunning. It's so pretty. I can't even explain to you. And this hummingbird shade on my lower lash line is also so beautiful. Um, I Like I said before, I think it just will shine to its fullest potential on just all over the lid. I tried to build it up. Ugh, you probably can't even be able to see it. But I tried to build it up um, as much as I could. 
but there's so many beautiful like blue and purple sparkles to it and I didn't wing this um <clears throat> I don't know why I'm choking on my own saliva. I didn't wing this look out, like blend it out as much as I typically do when I do this type of shape. So it's different than the first look, <laughs> but I really love it. I have done a few looks recently doing pink and purple together, but it's fine, it's fine. And yeah, let's get into the third look. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> I've had a time with my fucking hair, I swear to God. One day, I'm so stubborn, I should just give up, but one day I will master it. This is probably the best I've done, but it's definitely not what I'm trying to have necessarily. There's always one piece that's always like kind of straight. Anyway, you actually didn't come here to hear about the woes of uh, my hair. Third look, using the Hummingbird palette. I'm going to do blue today. I think I'm going to do a halo eye. I'm feeling very excited about it. So, as with all the other looks, I'm going to start off with the shade Clear Blue. Just run this through my crease as a transition shade. <laughs> now I'm going to take the shade Lagoon, which is this beautiful blue. I can't wait to put this all over my eyes. I used this on my lower lash line in my first impressions, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to do put this in my inner and outer corner and run this through my crease as well. to deepen my crease up with the shade Star Apple once again. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna cut my crease just in the center and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just cut my crease. I'm just gonna take Lagoon and top that onto my lid. I feel like I've actually, I had a plan and I've, I've changed it, so. And I'm gonna do the same thing with Star Apple, so just deepening my outer corner and my inner corner one more time. And then I'm going to take a really small brush with Star Apple and just stamp it over the middle part of my lid. So for the outer edges of the like uh, halo part of my eye, I'm going to take the shade Tropics, which is like a kind of like teal shade. I'm going to spray that because I always spray my shimmers and put this, like I said, on the outer, look at that beautiful color, on the outer parts of my lid. And then I'm just going to wipe that brush off and take the shade Feathers now, which is this beautiful like lime green, and go on the other side of the brush. spraying this shade as well and I'm just gonna take this in the center and then I'm gonna take uh, tropics and feathers on one shade on each side of the brush I always have such a difficult time describing that and I'm just gonna blend these shades together and then I'm going to just blend a little bit more of Lagoon, just very slightly on the edges, into Tropics. Now I'm just going to go into Clear Blue and blend over the very edges, just so everything has one final blend. I'm going to go into Tropics and Feathers on my fingers and intensify those shades so pretty not overly sparkly but really beautiful um, metallics that's so nice oh I love that I'm happy that I ended up doing this 
And then, you know what, I'm actually going to go into the shade Blue Fields, which is this metallic blue. And I'm going to use this on my finger and I'm going to just tap on my outer corner and my inner corner just to add some sparkle. I already have the depth built up there with all the deeper shades. Um, I might go in with a black over top of this and layer it or maybe not. We'll see. But I just want to have that like blue shine and now I have officially used all of the shades in the palette. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to keep it just blue all the way. So I'm going to take Lagoon all underneath my eyes, connecting it to my upper lash line, upper lid. And then I'm going to take Star Apple and use this to deepen this lower lash line up, also connecting it to my lid. Then I'm going to take Clear Blue and use this to blend my lower lash line out. And then I'm going to take a mixture of Tropics first and then Feathers on the center part of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to go into Blue Fields just like I did on my top um, lid and just tap that over the edges, like the inner and outer corners, and just tap this on the outer edge so it all meshes together. And I'm going to go again, so what I usually do, and keep this a little bit brighter, even though it is quite dark still. Um, and I'm not gonna use a black or anything. I'm just gonna keep it all like this. And then on my inner corners, I'm going to take uh, feathers, that lime, limey green. I'm gonna spray that and then I'm gonna put this here and I probably probably will go into my face highlighter to lighten it up a little bit. The highlighter that I'm using today is Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb. I'm trying to open this without <laughs> chipping my nail polish. So I'm just gonna take that on my pinky and just layer this over top. If you can hear sounds, my roommate's cooking in the kitchen, so sorry about that, but I'm just gonna actually probably layer this a lot just to give it some sparkle and a little bit of brightness. Oh, I love this. Okay, so this is actually it. I'll just, maybe I'll just leave my brow bone. I don't necessarily think I need a brow bone highlight. And then I'm just gonna put some lashes on, do something on my lips, and then be done to conclude this video. Okay, so this is the finished look. On my lips, I used the ColourPop eyeliner in the shade Mr. Bing and I blended it out with the NYX Wade Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm, and then I have the Prapa Beauty Luminous Satin Lipstick in the shade Victress. And I just, oh, I have Bold Face Makeup Lashes in, just for you. And that is all she wrote. So this brings us to the end of this Three Looks One Palette using the Odin's Eye Hummingbird Palette in collaboration with the Fancy Face, and I gotta say, I really loved it. I think it's a beautiful palette. Like, I feel like all the looks speak for themselves. I absolutely love this color story. It's so... The thing that I love most about this is that it's really bright and colorful without being a rainbow palette, number one. And I feel like everything was thought out so well. This light blue shade, clear blue, I mean, it is like a light blue, so depending on your preferences and our skin tone, like, I, I think how well you get along with that shade is going to depend, but it's built up really beautifully for being like a very close to white shade, and this shade in conjunction with Star Apple both lighten and deepen all of these mid-toned mattes here perfectly. Like, this dark shade deepens all of these three um hibiscus lagoon and red hills beautifully and same with this clear blue shade you can blend these other three shades out with it which is something that i really appreciate because a big pet peeve of mine is like say if this was a dark green or something you can only blend that really like color theory wise super great into one shade so the fact that this dark purple you can blend all of these other mattes into 
makes me so happy you don't even like fully understand the level of which I appreciate that. All of the mattes, beautiful. Beautifully blended, beautifully built, pigmented, really, really beautiful matte formula. I feel like there's two, well, technically three different shimmer formulas. You have the shade Feathers, uh, Tropics, and well, actually, yeah, Feathers and Tropics are kind of just like regular metallics. They're not like super sparkly or textured, but they're really beautiful and like a really nice metallic formula. And then you have the more textured shades. So the shade uh, Swallowtail, the shade Beach Sands, Hummingbird, and Blue Fields are all really beautiful, super sparkly metallic shades. They're so nice. And um, then we have this beautiful multi-chrome fancy, which is just such a special shade. It's so fucking nice. And it's smooth, but it does have sparkle, especially when you're in like low light. It's just fucking magical. I will say, unfortunately, this did crease a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit on me. It was nothing that was like insane and nothing that like was I couldn't like tap out, you know, but I don't often get creasing with shades, so I do did want to mention that. Um, but it was also like towards the end of the day, so it, it's nothing that really like super concerned me at all. But overall, I just like that is all I have to say. Like, it's a really beautiful palette, and you can get such a range of looks out of it. And like, there's so many other things you can do that I didn't do today. I just think this is such a bomb palette and I'm so excited to play with the other two that were in this collection. Let me know if you guys have this or if you're interested in it and what you think of it because this is this collection, this Legendary Diversa collection was my first time using Odin's Eye and I have to say I'm very happy with the formula. I think Tina literally killed it with this color story. All three of the collaborators did a great job but this video is obviously about this palette and I, I had so much fun playing with it. I cannot wait to use it more. It's such a also like great size both in terms of like amount of shades and just like it's a light nice little compact palette that's like good quality. It feels like sturdy but it's not like too big either and then you also have a little mirror like I just think it's it's great. It's so great. I don't have any like other things to report or any other thoughts really other than it's really nice and I really enjoyed using it. So I will leave everyone with that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!